Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be tackling what's considered to be the hardest ever GCSE maths problem, and I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, GCSEs are the exams you've got to do in the UK and when you're about 16 years of age, and they kind of, I don't want to say govern what you do next, but they are a big decider in what your next academic steps are. Anyway, this is not really the content I kind of normally make, so if you do enjoy it, do give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, and I might make some more GCSE videos, but uh, for the time being, this is actually the first GCSE math problem I've done on the channel. Um, anyway, let's dive into this problem. What have we got? We've got three identical circles in a rectangle. Each circle touches the other two circles and the sides of the rectangle as shown in the diagram. The radius of each circle is 24 millimeters. We want to work out the area of the rectangle. And it says to give our answer to three significant figures. I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to be giving an exact answer here. So if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself. And I'm going to dive straight into the solution. Okay, so in order to work out the area of the rectangle, we need to know this length and the height. Well, if we, well, the radius is 24, if we just call it R, because we are mathematicians here, let's just call that R. Well, what can we say about the width, the width the, I was going to say the width and the length at the same time, the width or the length of this rectangle is clearly going to be four lots of R, because we've got another R there, another R there, another R there. Perfect. So all we've got to do now is calculate the height of this rectangle. Well, how can we do that? Well, this guy here is obviously R. And this guy here is obviously R. So all we've got to do now is make up for this missing distance in between. Well, the way we're going to do that is by using our good old friend Pythagoras and looking at this triangle we create here. This length here to here is 2R. There's our right angle. And this length here is R. And so the question is, what is this length here? Well, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to help us work that out. Let's call it x. So we can say x squared plus r squared equals 2r all squared. And so we get x squared plus r squared equals 4r squared. Bringing that onto that side, we get x squared is 3r squared. And square rooting, we get x is root 3 times r. So x there is just root 3 times r. Perfect. So what is the length, or sorry, the height of this rectangle? It's just going to be r plus root 3r plus another r. So 2r plus root 3r, or in other words, 2 plus root 3r. Perfect. So what's the area of this rectangle? Well, it's just 2 plus root 3 times r times 4r, which is just 8 plus 4 root 3, all times r squared. And if you're doing this question in the exam, here's the way you would sub in r is 24 and put this into your calculator and give it to three significant figures. Uh, but of course, I'm not going to do that because I don't own a calculator. Anyway, that is how you would solve this problem, a cheeky use of Pythagoras' theorem. So although this initial problem does look quite strange, we just got to draw some straight lines and try and spot a right angled triangle here, which is going to allow us to use Pythagoras' theorem. We get the height of this rectangle and the width. Multiply them together, we get the area. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do give it a thumbs up if you have. Thanks so much for watching. For anyone doing their GCSEs, best of luck. I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.